Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. There will be a live tonight if you're interested at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Let's see what's going on with my Cancers. We're going to do the Romance Angels. We're going to do it a little differently this time. Stay optimistic, flirt, and heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Now, I almost feel like this is this is a couple that may be getting ready to separate. Let your friends help you. Um, trust in spirit that this situation is being handled. Stay optimistic. Trust it's being handled, and it's time for a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Let's see what's in the Psychic Tarot. Psychic Tarot. Partnerships and alliances. Density and authority. Okay. Rejoice in celebration. For whatever reason, this 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 is this is a celebrated situation. It is definitely over with destiny here. And the authority figure could be a father or a boss. Somebody you need to have a talk with regarding this situation because there is a partnership taking place. Trust. We have trust again. That's twice, Cancer. Trust in spirit. Let me put my glasses on, guys. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me right. Okay? So you know that, that this is meant to be. There's lots of purple here, so that tells me third eye and crown chakra purpose. I know what it is I'm here to do. Your destiny. Maybe you're supposed to become this authority figure. Let's see. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So I do see this progressing into something where you're either going to become a boss you are a boss because of discipline and you may need to have a talk with somebody that you're not interested in look look at how he's looking away so you may have to have a talk with somebody you're just maybe not interested in any longer and and you need to have that talk with them because you're here for much much more this person has brought you a lot of grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So there is a lot of grief here. Let's get some regular tarot and get more information. What does this partnership and alliance and trust mean, spirit? What does that mean for my cancers? This is fate. So, what I'm feeling with these four cards, two of pentacles, three of wands, the sun card, which is Leo, um, I feel you might be holding on to something that just is not really good for you. Um, it keeps you in a fight or flight mode in that juggling energy. So, I feel like maybe that's, that's not the best thing for you, even though... It could have been everything that you wanted at one time. Let's see what this destiny card and purpose is all about. Spirit is definitely asking for you to trust in spirit at this time. <clears throat> mm. 
Five of Cups. Yeah, there's there's somebody here who's depressed. Maybe celebrating a little bit too much. You've either sent or received a message from a high priestess, a Pisces, somebody who is healed, maybe wants to help you heal. Or maybe this is just your own intuition telling you it's time to heal. Because there's a purpose here that you need to pay attention to. What is this authority and discipline about? I, I'm feeling like there's somebody that's really interested in you, Cancer, and you're just, you're just like, yeah, I know. You need to trust in divine timing here. Like I said, I do feel like somebody is drinking a little too much. And somebody wants to just be single. Okay? Maybe it's best if this person takes the only need in their life because what they're what they're being offered by other people they're not particularly fond of. We have a six of wands a knight of swords two of wands and a king of cups you do have your choice in love at this time but you're not showing anybody how you feel that's what's keeping you disciplined nice that's a good deal i like it what is this uh two of pentacles three of wands Sun and Four of Pentacles. You're hanging on to a dream here, Cancer. Of what you think is the perfect person. Or the perfect situation. You're hanging on to that dream. You're making partnerships and alliances. And, and towards that dream. And holding on to that dream. Nine of Pentacles again. I feel like you just want to be single. Stay optimistic about your love life and stay single because you just cut out the devil. Ten of Wands, Seven of Wands, Queen of Swords, and the Devil. The Queen of, Queen of Swords in this in this deck is definitely somebody who cuts a bitch. They are done. They it's over. I'm gonna hit you with my mallet, stick you with my sword, and hang you in the backyard with the rest of them. And it's a devil, a Capricorn, possibly. We've got Leo and Capricorn so far. Ten of Wands, Seven of Wands, Queen of Swords, and the devil. So you are definitely cutting this person out, Cancer. You done. You're being very, very cold to this person as well. And they are so hung up on you. I mean, like I said, your heart to heart comes. You need to tell them the truth. If you do not have the kind of interest in this person that they have in you, then you need to be honest and you need to trust in the universe that it's for everybody's highest good. Because this is all destined. This is a test, as usual. It's a test. Nothing but a test. A spiritual test. Hierophant. You could be married to this person. But they are very confused about what you want. Two, 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 two. We got so far. They're very confused about what you want. Uh, they just want to apologize for something. But they're, they're at a crossroads. And here comes a message that leaves you kind of juggling your money in the Queen of Pentacles energy. So we got the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles so far. Two more queens here at the Empress. Um, so I do feel like there's, there's a choice that needs to be made here, a big one. Some... Uh, uh, and let me tell you, Cancer, if you're not feeling it, don't choose it. I mean, 
go with your gut on this. Definitely. Don't listen to everybody else and choose what everybody else wants. Choose what you want. I don't think you're showing your hand right now and letting anybody know how you actually feel. Brand new beginning. Hi, Priestess. Something is definitely coming to an end because of the truth. There is a Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, High Priestess, again with the Death card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Pisces, or both. They could have both in their chart. And although this is a brand new beginning for someone, it may not be exactly what you ordered off the menu. Okay? It feels like whatever this passionate brand new beginning is for you cancer you have um you killed it because like i said i don't think it came in the way that you expected so therefore putting you in a position of like should i shouldn't i should i shouldn't i if it doesn't fit your gut don't do it all right Let's clarify this devil. What is this devil and this queen of swords about spirit? What is this burden, this devil for my cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Ah, it gave me two. Oh, fighting with the king of pentacles or fighting about money. That is the that is the toxic energy that's surrounding that situation what is this trust with this two of swords the eight of wands two of pentacles and the queen of queen of pentacles what is this message that's coming into my cancers message Somebody's just a player here. They don't have the right intentions for you, Cancer. Not the kind that you're looking for. Nine of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. They may want to work with you, but I think they have some kind of strong emotion towards you as well. And I don't think that you're... I think that stresses you out because it, it almost feels like you're going to be obligated to this person professionally and personally. And I don't think that's what you want. You just want to enjoy your life. Let's see what this death card... Oh, see all that jump out? Tower. Four of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Your intuition is telling you that there's somebody else coming in. But here's the four of pentacles again. Somebody's holding on to you. And they'll wait however long they have to, to be with you. And they're going to come in and they're going to tell you this. Now whether or not you accept this or be honest about this with this person. Which is... Um, advisable to be honest to let them know you don't feel the same way about them even though this could be a brand new beginning in um, finances uh, this person is very very passionate about you they want you they want you over anybody else you match their energy could be a Scorpio we got the tower and the death card we get the high priestess twice for a Pisces. And with the queen of cups there, this person is willing to wait as long as they have to. A heart to heart conversation must take place if you do not feel the same. All right, because this person is into you. This person will offer you everything. And if you wanted to keep it on a spiritual or a professional level don't feel obligated in the, in this in this devil energy don't feel obligated 
just because of money because eventually that's going to fade and it will make it difficult to continue oh, my eyes are itching continue a relationship that is not solidified in truth because the truth is the truth there there's no way around the truth so ace of pentacles ace of wands and the ace of swords you've got to be honest with this person about how you feel because they're in love with you they are totally head over heels in love with you this could be a boss But the more you stress about it and, and, and try not to uh, have a confrontation here, the worse it's going to get by the time the truth comes out, which is, you know, I say my aces are about one month. So I, I give it about a month. Let's find out what the kippers got to say here. All right, yeah. So distant horizons. This person is an official person, and I'm feeling almost like a cop or a lawyer or something like that. And they want you to take a journey with them. Number 22, number 7, number 4. These are all sticking out to me. And 2s. 2s, 2s, and more 2s. You've got 5 2s in this reading. Please follow the 2 direction on the numerology. You can check that on Google. Um, somebody wants you to be their main squeeze and they're about to send you a message this person could even be at a distance from you but they want to pay you so that tells me that it's a boss situation or it's a situation where you might go into business with each other so think this over carefully cancer because this is the second time I have gotten somebody kind of going. Look at this. I really don't know. Look at the face on the people that are be showing, getting, getting the affection. It's like, I really don't know. Before you sign any contracts officially or anything, Cancer, please know that eventually the truth's going to come out if you're not like super interested in this person uh i'm not saying that this is you it could be the person that you're dealing with if you feel like they are not super interested in you like you are in them please pay attention to this because there's somebody here who is using the other one for monetary gain for a partnership and they are very, very interested in you. That's how I feel it. I don't feel like it's the other way around, Cancer. I feel like they are more interested in you than you are interested in them. And they are the ones that are holding on to that Two of Cups, hoping for a union in the future. Wow, we got a snake twice, guys. Seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, transform... Or, transformation temptation and a third party interference we got snakes everywhere here competition enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder and the other woman there could definitely be three people here because i'm feeling like maybe that person that's interested in you may either still be married to someone else or still connected to someone else and that is why it's taking the time to manifest this is because and, and I don't feel like you're real interested in this person uh, you've got clarity truth revelation sud solidarity force honor protection and power girl with the snake empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used enable and boundaries taking a chance being strategic options and not showing your hand like I said if you're not interested in this person cancer don't lead them on because that could turn into the devil which is obsessive controlling trying to get in your world no matter what which means stalking and all that other stuff 
you're about to find out how this person feels and everything's going to come to light. But I think you're going to adapt, change, and heal the situation. I don't think you're going to go into this situation blindly. You are going to make sure that your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed, which is good on you. Cool. Um, let's get some shadow messages from each sign. Shadow messages from each sign. Aries. I fear that you will reject me. Taurus. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Gemini. I've been struggling. Cancer. Yes, it is too late. Leo, I don't know how to let you go. Virgo, sometimes I hear your voice. You get the most positive messages I've ever done through this. Um, Libra, whoa, thank you for leaving me. Scorpio, I know more you, more than you think. I know more than you think. Sagittarius. I'm sorry. Capricorn. I pretend that I don't care. Aquarius. I never want to feel that way again. And Pisces. You are not part of my plan. And the all around energy is you saying, I understand all of you better now. All right, my baby crabs. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time. I'll be doing daily readings for you as well as Pisces and Scorpio. Okay? Love you. Bye.